Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an updated skincare routine. Uh, it's been a little while and I thought I'd let you into the products that I've been using. So first up, I guess the best place to start would be talking about my skin type. I'm in my mid 20s now, so I'm definitely past that spotty stage, but I would say I have normal combination skin. I do suffer from the odd spot here and there, but I would say that my main skincare concern would be congestion. I find that my skin can get quite congested, particularly around my nose. So I'm gonna be doing things a little bit backwards and starting with my nighttime skincare routine because for me that is where I do the majority of my legwork and I tackle most of my skincare concerns and I also do things in a particular order to get the best out of the molecular structures of the products that I use scientific a eh? so I start off with cleansing I then exfoliate uh, I use any water-based serums basically any clear products that I have then I pop on an eye cream any other face creams and then I finish things off with any lip or hand products that I may want to use Starting off with the Beauty Pie Double Phase Cleanser, I take this onto dry skin and I rub it on in. I must admit, I'm kind of using this product up. It's a nice product, not my favorite though. Uh, and I use this as a makeup removing stage. I then take a muslin cloth and rinse that off. For my second cleanse, I like to use the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Cleanser. I really am a big fan of this one. And with my second cleanse, I like to take a little bit extra time really working that into the skin and giving my skin a nice good clean. For my daily exfoliation step at the moment, I'm using these Plantastic Micro Peeling Super Drops by Beauty Pie, and I actually do quite like this format. Uh, it comes in a pipette and you can just like pop it into your hands and rub it straight into your face, again, because I get quite congested around my nose. That's why I like to focus this product. At night time, I like to use a trio of the Ordinary Serums, starting off with a hyaluronic acid. I really like this as an ingredient because it hydrates the skin without weighing it down or clogging the pores. To combat congestion and keep blemishes at bay, I'm a big fan of The Ordinary's Niacidamide. Uh, this also really helps with brightening the skin as well. Look at how excited I am to talk about this product. This is the Alpha Arbutin by The Ordinary. This is my favorite product of theirs to date. And this really works to reduce the look of spots and hyperpigmentation. And it just all around brightens the skin and feels amazing. For eye cream, I've got the Chi Energy Brightening Eye Fix. This one's great for tired eyes and I love to rub the majority of it along the orbital bone and the rest over my eyelids. Another absolute beauty by The Ordinary, this is the Islaic Acid Suspension and this is great for brightening and evening out the skin tone. And to lock everything in, I'm using the Clinique Moisturiser. This is their gel one, quite honestly. I've had this quite a long time and I'm just trying to use it up, but it's fairly nice. For lips, I'm currently using this overnight lip mask from Primark and it's actually surprisingly really good. It makes a nice barrier for your lips overnight. And lastly for hands, I've got a retinol hand cream by Beauty Pie. I like to apply this right before I go to sleep. And then moving on into the daytime, so there's two things that I'm predominantly doing. First of all, I'm protecting my skin from the sun, but I'm also creating a good base for makeup. Good morning from me. So first of all, I am gonna cleanse my skin. I like to use a micellar water at this point. At the moment, I'm using Garnier one, but the Bioderma one's my favorite, but the Garnier one is a good price point and a good drugstore alternative. I take that all over my face, but I do mainly concentrate there. It's getting the eye goo out of my eyes. To plump up my skin, I like to use the Dr. Jart Ceramidin liquid. This I find is really nice underneath makeup. Lastly, to protect my skin from the sun, I like to use a sunscreen. This one is by Misha and I'm a really big fan of it. It works well under makeup and it's SPF 50. To keep my lips nice and soft, I'm just using this lip balm from Beauty Pie at the moment. I think if you put a nice thin layer, it works quite nicely underneath lipstick. I also wanted to mention two products that I like to use in the shower. If I'm cleansing my face in the shower, I like to use a cream one. At the moment, I'm using the Celez R one, which I really like. And then also I do like to use a physical exfoliant. At the moment, I'm currently using this one by L'Oreal. I wanted to make a quick pit stop at Tools. There are definitely some things that I really do like. First of all, I have a favorite cotton round. This one is by Dell and Plus. I get these from Costco and I find the sort of waffle texture really helps remove makeup. 
If I'm using a product that I need to rinse off, I do really like these double-sided cloths by Beauty Pie. They have like one side, which is almost like a fiber side, and then a muslin side, which is a really good exfoliant. Again, for shower face washing, I love to use a cleansing tool. This one I really like from Foreo. And then also I do have these sheets from Muji, which are great for putting product underneath your eyes. Last but certainly not least, we're talking weekly treatments. So for me, it'll either be targeted hydration or it'll be a deep exfoliation. First up, we've got the Peeling Solution by The Ordinary, and I am a big fan of this one. I love this because it only takes 10 minutes and it reveals really nice soft skin, and I find it's a really easy but effective way to exfoliate your skin. I am also a big lover of the clay mask. The one that I'm trying on is the Ordinary Salicylic Mask, which also has some of those uh, exfoliating peeling properties. But if you want one that's more solely clay, I would recommend this Beauty Pie one. Or if you want something that's nice and quick and easy to wash off, I'd recommend the Alex Steinher Primark one as well. To tackle my tired looking eyes, I like to take those Muji face sheets and then mix in some Hydroprep Lotion by Beauty Pie as well as some Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. I like to soak those, pop those under my eyes and then leave them for about 10 minutes or until most of the product is soaked in. Trust me, using the sheets along with the products makes such a considerable difference and it makes your under eye area feel glorious. And that's it folks, that is my skincare routine currently. If you have any recommendations from me, I would love to hear from you down below. And also if there's any videos you'd like to see from me, I'd love to hear from you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.